reaching the arms all the way up, stretching, shoulder blades stay down, find the length. Let's start to go side to side, reaching and lengthening over to where you can. Try and keep your butt cheek down onto the floor or onto the bed or wherever you are seated today. Come through center and then reach up and over, finding that length and that stretch down the side of the body. Now I want you to keep this going in your own time. So stretching, lengthening, and releasing through. Working down the side of the body, keeping the shoulder blades down the back and just finding some movement. Couple more times. start to add a circle so you're reaching over to the side and then you're going to draw a circle around in front of you to go over and stretch now come back through center and go the same way you've just returned from so reach circle round and open out and let's just continue going round from side to side always going back the way you came, reaching and lengthening out in front of you, starting to open out the body as you come to this position, and then round and stretch, releasing the back as you reach forwards, and then again start to open through. Again, just a couple more times, draw that circle around, each time finding some extra space to go into. Center again, find that length, drop the shoulder blades down, and let's just take the head side to side. Just place the hands gently down wherever they feel comfortable. Allow the head to drop. Find some extra space each time, some extra mobility. And we're going to do similar to what we did with the body. And as we go to the side, we're then going to tuck the chin, take the head forward. And then circle round, opening, and just going forward. So we're not going to take the head back, just dipping the chin in towards the chest and then creating that length. So tuck your chin and then drop the ear towards the shoulder. Circle round, allow the shoulder blades to drop down the back. And then just creating, this might feel really intense if you're quite tight into the neck and the shoulders. up into the center with that head reset okay let's stretch through we'll come back to those neck muscles in a moment but grab your strap um, or your yoga strap your dressing gown belt a belt anything like that if you haven't got anything with you you can still do this one but try and maintain a little bit of control through so we're holding about shoulder width apart out in front of you and you're trying to keep that tautness in your your strap so you try not to let it go loose then you're going to reach up and over. Now you're just going to where you can and you don't want to be moving the head forward to try and get the arms back or caving backwards. I want you to keep the length and just bring the arms to where you can get to. It might be here, it might be in line with your ears and then coming all the way back down. Remember to keep the shoulder blades down the back. This is gonna be really good for your posture and your chest when we start to add in some different variations. So again, take a deep breath, arms come all the way up. If you can, start to move a little bit further. See if you can get some extra range through those shoulders. Keep breathing, keep lengthening, and bringing those arms up. And then releasing. Take those hands a little bit wider. This time, we're going to bend the elbows. Now arms come up. If you haven't got the range of movement, your strap might be coming in front of your face. 
if you can, you're opening out and bending the elbows so you're chicken wing the arms down the back, shoulder blades down the back, and then you're reaching up and over and stretching forwards. And you may find you can bring those hands slightly closer together each time opening through. Now if you've got a really good range of movement and really good flexibility, you can keep the arms straight, bring them all the way up and over, maybe take them a little bit wide if you need to, opening out those chest muscles and the shoulder muscles and then coming back up and over to bring the strap and again maybe inching those hands in towards each other every single time. Again try not to dip the head forwards to go back. I want you to keep the length as much as you can, work through the shoulders and the chest. And if this isn't good for you today, go back to the bent elbows or just that range of movement in the arms without bending the elbows or taking the strap behind you. Let's do two more. I keep an eye on the time when I'm not using tracks where I know I've got three tracks. It's just music today, so I get carried away. Okay, let's release. Place the strap down, shake out those shoulders. Again, just relax. Let's bring the hands down towards the floor. You don't have to push down, but just find some length where the shoulder blades are dropping down, your hands are placing down. Let's go back to the shoulders and the neck muscles. So we've released everything there, we've warmed up those shoulders. Let's drop the ear towards your shoulder. And again, just allow the weight of the head. So I don't want you to force the head down. Allow the weight of the head to drop. The ear is going towards the shoulder and you're finding the length all the way through. Now here, I just want you to explore in your own way. So you might be nodding your head up and down, yes or no. And finding where you can feel the deepest stretch where you can move into some extra space again without forcing anything so you're just finding the length take a few deep breaths as you do this maybe pausing on those areas where you feel you need more of a stretch and then coming back into the center releasing drop the ear towards the shoulder and again, allow the weight of the head to do the work. So it might feel slightly different from one side to the other. You can simply pause here, or again, find some movement. Maybe taking the head down and up, moving it in slightly different ways so you get to feel and work into, or stretch into, should I say, those areas that need the release the most. come back through center bring the arms up take a deep breath in clasp the hands bring those hands behind the head now remember we're not pulling here allow the weight of the elbows just to drop forwards and then tuck your chin in towards the chest so allowing the stretch down the back of the neck I think I'm running over actually let's see yeah it's about 10 stretching through And then gradually ease yourself out, take your time, release. We've just got one more. So here I want you to take the hands out to the side and I just want you to bring the hands slightly behind you. If you can, hold on to opposite elbows. So you're in this position here. And again, it doesn't have to be as tight a grip as that. Shoulder blades will be pulling down a little bit more as you try and reach for the opposite elbows. So again, find the length in the spine, and then just go back one more time to taking the ear from shoulder to shoulder, pausing on those areas that you feel you need it the most. And we should be feeling looser, more relaxed. You may even feel if you've got a lot of tension into these areas, it may feel worse before it feels better. So just be aware of that. And then I just want you to end this practice with releasing the arms.
stretching your arms out in front, reaching as far as you can, and tucking your chin in towards the chest. 